The stunts were elaborate, expensive, and sometimes planned months and months before it happened. For instance, we had a stunt once where we, one of the writers said, they're going to take out a whole street of houses over here in this kind of old district and uh, in, a, in the next year or two, because I read in the paper that a new street's gonna come through there. And these houses are gonna be destroyed. So we found out that we could buy one of them, cheap, fairly cheap. It was gonna be destroyed. It was empty. We then uh, perked it up, put some furniture and stuff in it, and we, uh, we ran a contest. No, then the next thing we did, we opened a real estate agency office and we found a couple to rent the house to through the fake front. And the one we picked out of the numbers, because we rented it very cheaply, was a woman who worked as a, a clerk at the Broadway Hollywood on the corner of Broadway of Vine Street and uh, Hollywood Boulevard. And through my friends at the Hollywood store, Ed Carter, who ran the store, we ran a fake contest, and she won a prize of a weekend trip in San Francisco. So they, they went on the weekend to San Francisco. While they were gone, we had house movers come in and move the entire house. And by the way, something happened that surprised us. She had a black cat that she left behind. So unknown to us, she asked the neighbor lady to sit in with the cat. And at 5 o'clock in the morning, when they started to move the house, we heard a yowl from the lady wilder than the cat. We got rid of her, of course, not physically, but we got her out of the picture. Now they came back from San Francisco and they're met at the airport by a limousine and say, the additional prize is to see Art Linkletter's People Are Funny. Oh, okay, so they come by our theater on Vine Street. We had a theater, Art Linkletter Theater then. So I come out in the audience, I say, people are funny about traveling and going away on trips. You no sooner get away from a house, and you get on a plane, or you get in wherever you are, and you start thinking, gee, did I lock all the doors? Did I turn out all the lights? Has a gas light been turned out? We have a list of 25 things here that you should really do. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to see, is there anybody in the theater who has been away on a trip? Or who's on a trip right now, even? And their hand went up. I knew where they were sitting. I said, well, have that couple right there. Would you come up, please? What's your name? What do you do? Where do you live out here? All right, I said, here's the list of things. We're going to take you out there, and we're going to give you $1,000 for every one of these things that you haven't done. Now they come out there, and we have the cameras waiting. We get out of the cab, and they look. There's no house. <laughs> they look around the neighborhood. Yeah, it's the neighborhood. They come up closer to be sure there's no house. You know, you, they're not going to believe their eyes. There's no house, but they walk up to see if it's somehow sunk down. Now they begin to see. People are funny. They begin to realize it. And, of course, we whisk them back to the show. And we say, <laughs> how does it feel to find your house missing? And we got a little laughter out of that stuff. And I say, now, this is the real crux of the thing. That house has been taken, and we've hidden it somewhere. And if you can find it, we're going to give you a year's rent on a new house in San Fernando Valley, a car, mink coat, but you got to find the house. And they said, well, how do, you, how do you find a house? I said, well, I'll give you a hint. Call the police department, Bureau of Missing Houses. <laughs> then during the next five weeks, we had them out with bloodhounds. We had them out with detectives. We flew them over the town with helicopters. And on the last day, last week, we had a circus tent, a big circus tent erected on a vacant lot next to the theater right there. It happened to be a vacant lot. And we had Madame Lasanga fortune teller, big signs. So now they come in, they haven't found the house. And I say, did you notice on the way in any changes in the neighborhood? And they said, well, there's some kind of a carnival going on next door. I said, that's the, what we're going to do. Madame Lazanga, the fortune teller, will tell you 
where your house is, if you can convince her. So they went next door, we have cameras in there, because in the tent is their house. Now there oh, is a classic example of a complete double, triple, quadruple, double cross being, prize, being surprised all the way through. And uh, we did other things like that, trips around the world looking for a mysterious man with a black box and other things. But that was the most elaborate and the most successful. Brilliant. Isn't that something? Absolutely brilliant. As a writer yourself, you can see all oh, the possibilities. Boy. So we made people funny. They weren't necessarily funny. House Party found people to be funny. 